Morphophonemic rules, what there is to know. Morphophonemic rules form part of the activities involved in parsing a structure, on a phrase marker outre diagram, in, TGG, transformation generative grammar. It involves the collaboration of words and phonemes in the process of accounting for the grammaticality of verbs. Morphophonemic rule has to the with the addition of inflectional properties to verbs in a structure that are being parsed on a tree diagram. Parsing is the process of accounting for the elements of structure of an expression either on a tree diagram or a linear analysis of them. It is the process of marking verbs for agreement, person and number, and tense. Note, however, that the word morphophonemic is a mixture of morphology and phonology and such the outcome has to reflect both linguistic concepts. Here is how it works. When a verb, at the deep structure level, is to be made to reflect the person, number and tense of the subject, a process of affixation takes place. Most likely when accounting for third-person verb forms. Take for example, Mr. John be a kind person. You can tell from the example above that the verb he does not agree with the subject Mr. John, that is, it does not reflect the person, third person, number, singular, and tense, present, of the subject and such can be said to be ungrammatical. But what we are dealing with is a deep structure element so we can put grammaticality on hold. Now we want to make the verb form be agree with the subject, so what we do next is to add an affix to it through a process known as the affix, hopping rule. For instance, B plus, S, the bound morpheme, S, symbolizes the third person inflection of a verb, and we are applying it to the verb in order to make it agree with the subject of the structure. So B plus, S, is. Now that we have our appropriate verb form for the structure, we can go on to use the acceptable affix hopping formula which is, verb plus agreement, person and number, plus, tense, present or past, applying this formula to our verb will then read, b plus agr plus pre is. You would notice that not only does the morphological structure of the verb change, but also the pronunciation changes as well. Obviously, b and is are not pronounced the same way. And this is the point where phonology comes into play. When the affix hoping rule has been applied to a verb, its pronunciation also changes in most cases. The structure will then read, Mr. John is a kind man. What about instances where the verb form does not change with the application of affix hopping rule? For example, I have a book. You can swim. You would realize that the verbs in examples 1 and 2 are both the correct verb forms for the structures, they agree with their subjects in terms of tense and number, example 1, and mood, example 2 as well as the deep structure forms of the verbs. For instance the verb have is a base form verb, and it also agrees with the first person pronoun subject, I. It is in cases like this that the pronunciation of the verbs remain the same even with the application of affix hopping rule, but they are still considered objects of the morphophonemic rule. See you soon.